Hey everybody, it's Nika Nim. Welcome back to Dawn's Light, episode 5? I believe it's episode 5. We are in the creepy forest, just about to end a secret hideout of Mr. Flouncy, aka Joss. Good, I'm glad you came. Quest complete, a secret meeting. Hey, you're Cuthro Mannington's son. Yes, Harvey, very good. Yes, that's correct. My name is Joss. I need to talk to you about my father. I think he's up to something. I knew it. So have you seen the masked wizard hanging around here? Have you? Your father didn't seem to want to talk about it. No, I've never seen anything, but I've noticed my dad has been very secretive lately. It's kind of British old man. I don't even know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. He never used to be this way. He was a great leader. He made sure everyone in the village had what they needed. Then everything changed. Did a demon appear? What can we do about it? We need to search the mansion. I live there, but there are many locked doors. Places I have never been. My dad won't tell me what's in them. Places you've never been in your own house? That's not suspicious. What about your brother? He doesn't know anything either. He's far too loyal to my dad. I tried to bring this up with him, but he wouldn't have any of it. All right, I'll go with you. We'll figure this out. Joss joins the party. Wait a second. Sassy Vera's back. I'm coming too. Vera joins the party. No, it's too dangerous for you. Let us handle it. I guess that's his voice now. Vera leaves the party. Do not treat me like a child. You may not think of me enough of me to speak to me against your father's wishes, but I can handle myself. Vera joins the party. Besides, how do you how do we know that we can even trust you? You're your father's son after all. Joss leaves the party. Oh my god, you guys. Listen, I'm sorry that I stopped Oh god, now he's sassy. Listen, I'm sorry I stopped talking to you. It's my dad. He's changed. I mean, we grew up together and we have some great memories. Believe me, I would never do anything to hurt you. We need to stick together if we're going to have any chance. Joss joins the party. Look, if you two can't get over your issues, I'll do this on my own. Harvey leaves the party. <laughs> My god, what a clusterfuck. No, wait. We can put our differences aside for the good of our people, right, Joss? Yes, absolutely. Harvey joins the party. Okay, good. Let's get going. We'll have to go through the back window. The what? You don't have a key to your own house? That's the way I went last time. We'll be caught for sure. Don't worry. I know a few secret doors. Into the mansion. The Mystery Mansion? Guys, did you ever play that game when you were a kid? It was a board game, Mystery Mansion. And, uh, what am I looking at? Oh, the journal, that's right. Find out what's going on in the mansion. It was a board game and it had like a million and a half pieces. And they all had little numbers on them. And uh, you set it up, it was kind of like, I guess, clue, a little. And you set up the board and it had all these little I'm not describing this very well. It had all these little plastic things with pieces in them and it had clues and it had this electronic interface that talked to you and told you what each clue was. But every time they did the game, they randomized it so like the items gave a different set of clues and you had to figure out like who committed the crime. And It was my favorite game. I loved it so much. And then the interface stopped working and I got really sad. Alright, we're back in the mansion. Now this guy supposedly knows of some secret doors. Wait a second. I know a shortcut. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense as a secret door. Wow, with your help, we'll be out of here in no time. Okay. This is... Is this like servant doors or something? Like, it looks really... Ooh, a treasure chest. Knight's chest piece. I wonder if that's... I guess I should check their equipment too, huh? Oh, it, it makes them faster, but it... Downs his. I know how to do these keys, I swear. Um. No, nothing. Purely aesthetic value. Yes, that aesthetic leather, leather tunic. Okay, that can't go to Vera, maybe Joss. I can't unquip him. Alright. So I can make Harvey a little bit faster, but lower his defense. Well, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna sell that. Mana potion. There's too many doors here. How do we know where we're supposed to go? 
Don't worry, we don't have that many choices. See the colored plates in front of the doors? They tell you what key you need to open them. Do you have any of the keys? I have the key for the yellow doors. So we can go in any door with a yellow plate in front of it? Exactly. Okay. Can we go upstairs? Should I not go upstairs? Well, we're gonna. That's what we're gonna try and do. Oh, hey, yeah, let me go. Oh, yeah, and of course there are enemies up here and more doors. But I don't think any of them are yellow. Blue, blue, green, purple. Alright, no yellow. So that means we have to go into this door. Only choice. It looks like an indoor garden? Rich people have those, don't they? Four leaf clovers. Hey, I have party members now. I can use my four leaf clovers. Alright, indoor garden. And a shed. Oh, another creepy basement! Yay! Don't you just love creepy basements? You're totally not gonna die down there. Mana potion. Health potion. What did I tell you about these barrels, guys? Oh, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I can jump. Ha ha. Alright, let's see what's in the creepy basement. Ooh, oh god, no spiders. Oh, just kill them fast. Kill them fast. Oh, god. They give me shivers, guys. Shivers. I can't. Can't deal. Don't touch me. Don't. Oh, they did poison me. Fuck you. Oh, Vera, you're useless. Hit the spider. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna have to take care of that. Um, antidotes. Also, you can see um, by their names that there's a percentage that um, I don't think they explain it in the game. Maybe they do later, and I just I'm impatient. But if I recall properly, it's the like amount of attention that they've gathered from the enemy. So it's the amount that the enemy is paying attention to them, to them, and the likelihood that they'll be hit by the enemy. So that can come into play with strategizing for battles in the future. If this is another round of spiders, I'll just cut it out so you guys don't have to watch me again. Oh, no, these are grinding fiends? Is that what that said? Grinning fiend. Yay. Let's use some quick stab. Okay. Oh, wow, this guy's got some... He's got some talent. Joss does. Excuse me, Mr. Flouncy. these guys hit so damn hard and see like Harvey has the highest percentage so they're hitting him they it's not guaranteed they won't always hit whoever has the highest percentage it's just more likely I think I could be wrong what was that like if I have him defend his percentage should go down and theirs should go up yeah see like Vera hit and hers went up and Joss hit and his went up so that's how that works it's a pretty cool system and if you know how to work it and you know how to play it then later in the game that makes strategizing for harder battles a lot more um oh cool Vera learned double stab stabs random enemy twice another skill from the exploding statue um but yeah it's it's a cool facet of um strategy for your battles and i like it do I have anything else that I can use that isn't a full health potion? I'm not using a full health potion on you. You're just going to have to deal. Deal with it. Like a man. Or a woman. A woman could deal with that too. Deal with it like a capable person. What are you? Those are just more spiders. They did quite a bit of damage to Harvey. They just like to pick on him for some reason. Not Joss. Wonder why. King of the spiders. Is there a way to get in there that I just walked past like an idiot? No? Maybe? Yeah? No? Guess not. Alright, yeah, that is running. Okay. Can I fall down that hole? Wee! -oo. Yes, I can! Okay. But should I go down first? Should I have done that? Am I an idiot? I mean, the answer to that question is always yes. Always. Is this just a dead end? Oh no, this is a puzzle! Guys, we're at our first puzzle! John Wizard makes the best puzzles, and they make me really happy. Um, if they ever take, like, way too long, if a puzzle starts taking ridiculously long, I'll just speed myself up through it, so you guys can still at least see it. 
but I'll just speed it up accordingly so it doesn't take five years. Oh shit, I forgot to even read it. Hmm. It's one of my dad's security systems. We need to change each of the red tiles into a green one. So how do we do that? We need to push the statues onto each tile. That seems a little too easy. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. If we push a statue onto a tile that's already green, it will blow up. Don't worry, there's a handy reset switch right here. John Wizard puzzles are my favorite. I don't know how he makes them all, but they have been just brilliant ever since I first saw them. I've been entranced by them. Oh, they're pushable one block at a time. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I'm an idiot. It's okay. I think I can still figure it. Yeah. Here we go. I thought that they went until they stopped. Silly me. Oh no, because I can't push that down from there. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm human. Okay. Try this again. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Don't worry. We got this now, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, that one's done. Boom! Yeah! So what is that? Your dad in the next room? No, we've still got a while to go yet. Oh, oh god. Yeah, everything blows up after you solve a puzzle. I'm gonna go back up here because maybe I did find a quick secret thing that I didn't need to run away from. Just... Uh, oh. Oh, mail! We got our first letter! This is weird. It's a letter, but the address is scrambled. Have you been living under a rock or something? The post office has been encrypting their mail for years now. So, how do they know who to deliver the mail to? Usually, they don't. Most people don't even bother using the mail system anymore. I mean, who does? Who sends letters? So, what should we do with this letter? Well, if it really matters to you, take it to the post office and they'll decrypt it for you. They won't deliver it again, though. You'll have to do it yourself. All right, I will. Of course you will, Harvey. More golden ink. I mean, really, who sends letters, though, anymore? I Not that I don't love to receive mail, because I kind of do, unless it's a bill. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't even remember the last time I... I do remember the last time I got a handwritten letter, and it was from nobody that I wanted a letter from. That's dandy. Yes, I will fight and kill these, but no, you guys won't see it unless they happen to be new enemies. Just more fiends, and this time Joss gained a level, and Harvey took another beating, because for some reason he's starting with really high um, notice percentage. I don't know how else to say that, but he's getting the majority of the hits, and I don't know why. Joss is HP is really low for some reason. That's strange. Why is your HP so low? This door is locked. We need to find the wolf key to get into here the wolf key okay well I went through oh is that a door that okay yeah I guess it was that was a door cherries barrow and that's the wolf key this is great now we can open doors with the green bases let's not dwell on our success we've got a lot more to do indeed Harvey we do we've only just begun this is our first dungeon. Well, unless you count the McGovern Cave. So I guess technically second dungeon. And our first puzzle dungeon, though. Oh, God, I love puzzle dungeons. Alright, so we're back in the center area. I guess we'll save. Since we did stuff and things. Now we'll go to the other green door. Where I guess we'll find the red key. Oh, what's that? Crown of Royal Blood. That sounds promising. Who can I put that on? Not Harvey. Of course. Ah. Ooh. Not as... Not as great as I would imagine for something that calls itself the crown of royal blood. But, hey. Maybe I should start using more, um... Mana potions and stuff. Because I have a lot of that. And I just... <laughs> I haven't used it. I just am a fan of the good old slash and hack. You know, just outright attack until you get the enemy dead. That's about what I like to do. And I'd like to save all my mana for boss battles, but maybe I should change that strategy up a little. We'll try it in this battle. Those were just some bats. Harvey gained a level. Ooh, 
Anybody found trying to take a peek in one of the rooms will find themselves evicted from the premises immediately. You need to learn to respect privacy. I am big on privacy respect, but there's supposedly a demon around here, so I think that takes precedence. Cuthrow's Diary I am still very suspicious of this masked figure who wishes to do business with me, but if what he says he can offer me is true, then it may well be worth it. I'll remain careful in my meetings with him, and then when I get what I want, I'll use my newfound power to kill him. Okay, Cuthrow, wow. Cutthroat, more like. Candle and health potion. Okay. Into another creepy basement. These people do not upkeep their basements well. Like, do you just not have the servants come down here? The initial phase of the mission has been a success. The demon portal is now open. That sounds good. And the demons have emerged. That's great. Soon we will rise up and build a new society. The demons may have taken out some of my own men, but this was to be expected, given the length of time that we have been out of contract out of contact with them. Things will only get better from here. Oh great. Great. That's lovely. That's lovely. What are you, a demon? Just another fiend and a spider. Joss gained a level. Not that you can tell because his HP still sucks. Um or was it Harvey that gained a level? <laughs> I don't remember. No, it was Harvey that gained a level. Wait, why does it Vera's a stalker? And Joss is just Joss. Harvey the Protector, Vera the Stalker, and Joss, Joss. Okay. Um, you can have that, I guess. I need to start using these things more because I'm getting my butt kicked a little bit in the HP department. Another candle. Am I going to use these candles? Yay, more baddies. Alright, let's try this. Well, I guess I'll go in here since you decided to run from me. Another puzzle! Okay, I think we have time for this puzzle, and that'll be like it. So, let's do this. Oh no, see this one... No, it does. Okay, good. I have done a lot of puzzles in my day, guys, and I like to think that I'm pretty darn good at them, but now watch. Now that I've said that, I will mess up royally in like the stupidest way possible. Nope, nope, I got this. I got this. Look at this. Hell yeah. Puzzle master. I love these puzzles, guys. They do get harder. Like, this is the first puzzle dungeon, so they're easier. But, um, I'm going to kill these assholes. Whatever they are, they're probably more spiders. Great. Um, but I'm going to kill them, and then in the next episode, we will continue to the south. I'm just going to save so that they don't, like, attack me. But, um, in the next episode, we'll continue south and see what other puzzles there are waiting for us, and what, how we can get behind the blue and red doors, and what lies waiting for us there. See you guys later. Bye!